Okay, we're back for season three, episode one of uh, Sunday Night War. So we have a small roster starting off at season three. Um, we have our excellent talker, the Quinn B. Becky Lynch, our women's champion. But other than that, we have no champions right now. So, uh, we could look for some more people. However, before we do that, let's set up our rivalries, shall we? So, Raquel, I was going to turn heel. I do remember this. There we go. So Raquel is going to become a heel. Which then means we have three heel and face women and three heel and face men. So that evens that out. So. For the men's championship, we are going to have Gunter go against Santos Escobar yes that's what we're going to do that's going to be the main event he doesn't have that much stamina but that's okay it is just going to be a regular title match the opener is going to be Becky Lynch versus Marie's for the women's championship. Actually, Becky has more popularity. Okay, we're going to switch those two around. And we're going to have R. Trizzle versus Joe Gacy for the North American championship. And we'll start it off with a tables match. Actually, no, we are going to keep that as that. And the reason we are going to put that, we're actually we're actually going to have an last woman standing. Yeah, last woman standing. And. We're going to have Kaya teaming with the Queen Bee. And they're going to call out Raquel Rodriguez and Dakota Kai. Which leaves us Right, we're gonna have to do Dakota Kai doing let's give her a self promo. And we'll just have Cody and Wolfgang. No. Talent scouts. So, if we have Cody team with somebody and Wolfgang team with somebody. Okay. Oh, Austin Theory we could bring in. Alcatraz is up there. Triton is up there. Geriatric is there. Um, let's bring in uh, 
I mean, some of these have gone through and they've actually got promo skills now. He hasn't, he hasn't. None of them do, none of them do. Let's bring in... We've already got two heel bruisers in Joe Gacy and Wolfgang, so we don't really need that. Why don't we bring in... Why don't we bring in... Jake Xanadu. We've already got a face cruiser. So why don't we bring in Joel Wheeler, Joel Wheeler, and a face giant. That would work. That's what we're doing. So Joel Wheeler, who is a heel cruiser. Joel Wheeler, wasn't it? And then... Let's bring in Triton! Who is a face giant. Cody is going to team with Triton to go up against Wolfgang and Joel Wheeler. And it's going to be a tag title match. That's what it's going to be. So, a pro and his rookie. That's what we're going to do. Right, that's the card. So SmackDown is starting the season off with Bray Wyatt doing a promo. Uh, one member of Chase U being the Intercontinental Champion. Uh, Otis going up against Drew McIntyre and Andre Chase going up against Bobbles in an Extreme Rules match. Rhea Ripley is defending her women's championship against Indy Hartwell in the opener. Tommaso Ciampa is defending against Elton Prince the US championship in a regular match. And Luke Gallows is defending or going up against Damian Priest for the world championship on Raw. And on NXT we have Gunter going up against Santos Escobar. Gunter gets the victory. Three and a half star doesn't start a rivalry. Raquel Rodriguez goes to heel. Then we've got Cody Rhodes and Triton going up against Wolfgang and Joel Wheeler. Cody Rhodes and Triton get the victory. And it starts a feud. Good to know. Let us write that down. Triton Cody versus Wolfgang Wheeler.
Okay, that's level one. Okay, the women's tag. Birds and the bees. Versus, uh, oh, I need a tag team for them. Raquel Dakota. Uh, I, I can't think of a name for them right now. Okay, that's level one. Our truth and Joe Gacy. Our truth. Gains the North American Championship. That starts a feud as well. Works for me. That's level one. And Becky Lynch defending against Maurice the Women's Championship in a last woman standing match. Maurice gets the victory, and it doesn't even start a feud. Come on, Becky. And nothing spectacular going on on NXT 2.0. handy no scouting points to an advertising thanks Ted Because it's a new season, Kaya. Okay, well, fine. No contract is. Oh, of course, because. Oh, that's annoying because I booked them to the end of the season, didn't I? Oh, that's a ball ache. Let's find another logistic. Oh, I don't have the assets for that yet. Okay. Right, well, the men's tag can open up then this time. And let's make it a tornado tag match. Truth and Gacy going at it. And we'll make that a. No, we'll just make that a normal match. Right. 
We are going to have Becky call out Marie's. Gunter and Escobar can go against it one on one. I have a self promo for Maurice. Okay, that's annoying. Right. Oh, who's miserable? Right, there you go, that sorts care out. You're a tag champion, deal with it. Actually, no, you're not a tag champion, you're getting a tag championship shot. Right. Confirm booking, I guess. Okay. So, Tommaso Champa is, for some reason, teaming with the Hurricane to go up against Elton Prince and MVP, who, are, who is getting ran in on by Julius Creed for some reason. You keep it up, Ted. Okay, over here on NXT, I get yeah, the uh, tag champions are in a tornado tag match with Wolfgang and Joel Wheeler. They get the victory. Goes to level two. Maurice does okay with a self promo. Gunter and Santos Escobar. Gunter gets the victory. Still doesn't start a rivalry. Okay, Becky and Maurice is now a level one. Are Truth and Joe Gacy going at it? Truth gets the victory. Mediocre, but it does go up to level two. Disappointing. Helen Cell match between the Birds and the Bees versus Raquel and Dakota Kai. Dakota Kai and Raquel Rodriguez get the championships. Goes to level two. Bailey defending against Maxime Dupree. Bailey retains. Channing cutting a self promo. And a triple threat for the Women's Championship. Gigi Dolan, Tiffany Stratton and Shayna B. Shayna B gets the championship. And I just noticed Bray Wyatt is teaming with um, Duke Hudson against The Miz and Dexter Loomis. Paul Heyman, is everything alright over there on Smackdown? So uh, we didn't have a good opening, sadly. But we're getting a lot of money, so that's all right. And we got a to the moon card as well. Oh, for the god's sake! You are welcome, Joe.
Okay. Gunter has a new perk. Oh, you know, it, it makes sense for him to be more of a bruiser. But I already have two bruisers on my roster that are heels. Um, and that's Joe Gacy and Wolfgang. So I'm going to make him a fighter instead. Or have a fighter bonus class, I mean. Right. Right. Let's... Let's let the women go on again. The women's tag. I can main event again. But this time... Let's move for the title. And we'll put them in a... No, let's make it a normal match. But... Actually, they can open. But the two the moon is going to go to Queen B. Because that's going to increase her popularity by 15. Actually, ah, uh, make it a tables match. Right, Marie's and Becky are going to open. We're going to put it for the championship, and we're going to have. Loser is injured for one week. Or I can do it last man standing. Oh, fuck it. Let's make it no holds barred. And you know what? I'm going to switch those two around. That should be the main event. It fucking should be. Right. We are going to have... The men's tag go on in the semi-main. And we're going to make that a tables match. No, we're not. We're going to make that an extreme rules match. No, we're not. Make it another tornado tag. That way they can rest one week and have... No, we're going to have it normal. And we're going to have our truth and Joe Gacy go at it. And this time, you guys can fight in a tables match. No, you know what? We'll give you an Iron Man match. Actually, that's a high stamina cost, isn't it? Okay, last man standing. Morale to the winner. Okay. Santos, will you fucking call out Gunter and start a damn rivalry? Lonely today, come along and throw your cares away. We're really glad that you're our friends And this is the friendship that'll never ever end Fucking hell, Josie Jane If you're feeling lonely today Come along and throw your cares away We're really glad that you're our friends This is the friendship that'll never ever end
I'm going to get you to the end of the season. And let's just try having you do a self promo. Right, let's write it down. So she's a face cruiser. Face cruiser woman. So I've got two face cruisers now, her and Queen Bee. We're really glad that you're our friend. This is the friendship that'll never ever end. Day. Come along and throw your cares away. We're really glad that you're our friend. Okay. So, we are starting with the Women's Tag Championships in a tables match. Birds and the Bees versus Raquel Rodriguez and Dakota Kai, who are the reigning champions. The championships flick back over to the Birds and the Bees. Finally, Gunter and Escobar. Is at level one after two matches and one promo. R Truth and Joe Gacy in a LMS. R Truth gets the victory. Completely outshines the opener, I think. What what was the opener rating? Gunter goes up by three. Men's tag. Cody and Triton defending against Wolfgang and Joe Wheeler, and they get another victory. Rivalry goes up to level three. Josie Jane, okay. One popularity. That could have been better. And here the women should. Becky Lynch beats Marie's in her speciality. She gets the championship. Marise is out for one week, which we knew would happen because that's part of the game. But I'm annoyed it didn't increase the rivalry. You would think getting injured would increase the rivalry, but it didn't. <sighs> but some bloody good matches there. But we're quickly getting money. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Um okay, we can do that. Uh did you you didn't get veto, did you? No. Okay, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. He wants a no holds barred match. Well, as as long as you don't get vetoed, Quinn, that's fine. Right. Okay. Right. Right, we need to work out who we can actually put on this card. Right, he wanted a no holds barred match, didn't he? Right. Okay. Okay, tell you what, we'll hire a jobber. 
Because I don't want you starting a rivalry with anyone on the roster. Right, you're a... Wolfgang is a heel bruiser, so ideally I want a f male fighter, face fighter. Adrian Buck. Or Matt Ador. Bloody hell, he's popularity. You know what? Let's bring him in for two weeks. No, you know what? I'm going to bring him in full time. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. 58 popularity. I'll do that. That's another guy for our roster. Adrian Buck. Face fighter. Right. You wanted a no holds barred match, you get one. But if you get injured, you're out of the pay per view. For the tag championships. So make sure you fucking win. Because I'm not going to be pleased. I'm giving you the main event here Wolfgang. I'm giving you a chance. Right. Marie's got veto, didn't she? Right. In which case, Becky needs to do a call out. Now, Cody and Triton did not get vetoed. So, that should hopefully level them up to level 4. Then we could do another, because Raquel got vetoed. No, it's Dakota who got vetoed. Right. Okay. So if we do a tag team call out by the ladies. And then we do, no. Okay, here's, Quinn B needs to rest. And the other one's vetoed anyway. So why don't we do another self promo for Josie Jane. And we'll have Santos and Gunter. Tables match. Now we'll just make it a normal match. Right, now I've got a power card. Actually, I've got multiple power ca power cards. But I can use this to scout for a couple of leggies. Legends. Watch me. So. I have five face men, four heel men right now. So let's look for a heel. Popularity 71. Heel specialist. See now, here is his... I'm going to show you the genius of this. It's cost us 100,000, right, to search. Okay? 
However, we can do this. We can hire him for one week for 44. So if we were to, for example, hire him for the entire season, it would cost us $507,000. Okay. However, if we hire him for one week at 44,000, that's cost us 144,000 to hire Macho Man Randy Savage. But see, here's the thing. I can now use this homecoming card. He's away for two weeks, and then we get him for the entire season, which means we've just saved well over $400,000. Just for him to not be here in the next two weeks, which I wasn't going to use him for anyway. Okay, all right, now we've done that, um, we can, set a superstar on your roster to immediately increase their level to level 20 and become legendary. Oh, I could do that to Josie Jane, couldn't I? It would be such a waste though, but Quinn B's already level 12. Um, right. Uh, you know what? I'm going to actually do it to Adrian Buck. But I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to wait until he's had that match with uh, Wolfgang. Because I want Wolfgang to win it, to be honest. So let's have Kaya just go up against, or not. Um, okay. God, I've got so many people vetoed. Right. God damn it, Ted. Right. Josie Jane's a cruiser, isn't she? Right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have Raquel go up against Josie Jane. Just to literally fill up a spot. And then we'll have... I need more people. <laughs> I need more people. Okay, talent scouts, right. Um, what's Jerry Sweat's abilities? Promo one, you're bloody useless then. Um, Let's. I do got the talents out, so I can still. I look. I could look for a face, couldn't I? It's going to cost me another hundred grand, though. Let's see if we can bring in a couple of women to the roster. Hyper Niven is there. I would have a heel giant, but Piper Niven I could bring her back. Oh, expensive though. Cora Jade is much cheaper. She's a she's a heel fighter. I've only got one fighter on my women's roster, but it's, that is Marie's, and she's a heel as well. Um. could see a Piper Niven Josie Jane feud. That would actually work. Let's do her. Let's do that.
Hyper Niven Heal Giant. And that sorts out so we can we can get rid of her out of there or put Piper Niven straight in there. If I had a women's title belt, uh, mid mid card title, I would do that. Um, and you know what? She look okay. We're gonna do that. Here's what I'm gonna do. I've changed my mind. I am gonna use a legend whisperer on Josie Jane. Let's try and get her some popularity. Right, so she's up to level 20. She's got a fuck ton of perks for me to put on now. Where are you? Oh, and speaking of Josie Jane, there's her music. <laughs> or is that JC Jane? I couldn't hear. Steel Cut or Extreme Rules? Let's make it Steel Cage match speciality because I believe. Actually, hang on. What was Piper Nivens's? Steel Cage. Well, that works perfectly for me then. Steel Cage? Yes. Basic popularity. Uh, JC Jane is a cruiser. We can make her a fighter or a specialist. I only have one specialist, so let's make her a specialist as a second type as well. Submission match or FCA? Uh, she's a cruiser. Submission match would probably be better, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's give her a submission match. Right. We've spent a lot of money this week. <laughs> right. And we're going to have... Karen and Raquel just go up against it. And we'll have Quinn B cut a self promo. Or we could actually do her make her do some training. Make her level up. Let's try that. That's fine. What's my commissioner goal? Have at least one tornado tag match. Oh, fuck you, trips. Have I forgotten anything important? Right, you're getting that today. Okay. Okay, so we're starting with Gunther and Santos Escobar. Giant versus Cruiser in an opener match. Gunther gets the victory. Grace level 2 rivalry. Good. <laughs> Becky calls out Maurice. It goes up to level 2. Good. Piper Niven going up against Josie Jane. Piper Niven gets the victory. Disappointing, probably because of Jane's popularity. But it starts a rivalry nonetheless. Okay, the men's tag team rivalry goes to four. This is just honestly a throwaway match. Okay, gets the victory though. Good. That's all right. Wolfgang goes up against Adrian Buck. Oh, Wolfgang. And he's out for the pay-per-view as well. 
Uh, I knew he was going to do that, didn't I? I fucking called it. I fucking called it. Holy shit, NXT 2.0 at a 4.5. What was that? Oh, the TLC match. Okay. I gave him what he wanted. Problem is, I fucking called it. <sighs> oh well. Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Regal. Thanks a lot. Wolfgang, I gave you what you wanted and you lost. <sighs> right. Manage roster. Aging Buck. Backstage promise, because I'm not fucking having casket matches. Right. Take those, take those, take those. Right. Do I have an injury rehab? By two weeks, yes. I don't have a fixed match card. Right. So if I do that by two weeks, he can perform tonight. As the as it's my only level four feud, it's gonna be the main event. And you want to win the match, that's up to you, Wolfgang. You need to freaking do it yourself. What's the br Ugh, extreme rules? Okay. You need to do it on your own back, Wolfgang. I've given you the chance. I can't do anything else. I don't have a fixed match card. So if you fuck it up, that's on you. Quinn B, fighter or specialist secondary. She's a cruiser naturally, so. I don't have any heel bruisers, so specialist is probably going to be better. A superstar's brawl. Right. Oh, beginner's luck. Josie Jane, that'll do. Right. Uh, right. Okay, Marie's just happy. Right. Okay. Commissioner Goal, have at least one Iron Man match this week. Right. Gate in our truth can be an Iron Man match for the title, and that's gonna go on. What are their specialities? Okay, Tells is Gaces, Hell in the Cell is Truth, right. We'll do tables for the opener for the North American Championship. Then, 
will have. What's the reward if I do this thing? Bad timing. Yeah, that'll do. Right, okay. Um, he wanted an Iron Man match. Okay, why don't we do that with... Piper Niven and Josie Jane. Or an Iron Woman in that case. Then why don't we do the women's tag. And that is also a table speciality, isn't it? Um, tag should always be in a TLC, I feel. And we'll have Becky Maurice title match. Adrenaline in my soul, every thought out of control. Do it all to get them on their feet. The crowd is here, about to blow, waiting for me to start the show. Out the curtain lights go up, I'm home. Whoa, my father said, when I was younger, hard times breed better men. Kick them all away, or kick them all away. Can change my freedom. My dream, but not my name. Not throwing me into the end. I am my kingdom. Ready now. Before I fall off the ground. Never give them what they pay to see. Here they come, on the floor, they want me to stop the show. Out the cut lights go up, I'm home. Whoa, my father said, when I was younger, hard times bleed better men. Don't have any, I don't have any face fighters, do I? So why don't we bring in Nova Northern Light? Face fighter female. Nova Northern Light. Right, this is the show. It's not a great show, but it's a show. They got two consecutive submission matches there on SmackDown. Dexter Loomis and uh, Bray Wyatt and Andre Chase versus Bobbles. Okay then. Oh, and they've got an Iron Man as the main event. But the only championships on the line are the women's tag. And it's Sassy Malassi and Alba Fire going up against Shayna Baszler and uh, Gigi Dolan. Raw, on the other hand, have one set of championships on the line in five normal matches. Um, it's Elton Prince and Cash Suplex going up against the Hurricane and Tommaso Ciampa. 
And let's see how we go on NXT, shall we? No, I don't want to simulate. I wanted to spectate. Never mind. Okay, so Becky Lynch wins. And that rivalry grows up to level 3. Right. Rivalry between Santos and Gunther goes up to level 3. Good. Right. Tables match. Joe Gacy and R-Truth. Entering first. This is one dangerous So Joseph Gacy is challenging for the uh, North American Championship, currently held by R-Truth. One of the uh, most experienced and veteran stars on the NXT roster. Now, the champion. What must Joe Gacy be feeling knowing he's going up against this? Her backlash uh, obviously being held in Puerto Rico today. Joe Gacy and uh, R Truth eyeing each other up across the ring. And they lock up. R Truth with an Irish whip pull back into a shoulder charge sends Joe Gacy down with a firm, firm kick. Stump to the uh, back of the right shoulder. Hard hit to the uh, face there of Joe Gacy in the chin. Joe Gacy trying to cover up his face. R-Truth relentless here with a quick double leg drop kick. Uh, from the ground leg, sliding drop kick. Pulling Gacy up. Swing and a discus punch sends Joe Gacy straight back down to the mat. R-Truth going right outside. Looking under the ring for the table. He obviously hasn't noticed. Hey, no, I tell a light. He went for a kendo stick. And he's completely changed his mind. Both combatants back into the ring. And Joe Gacy catches R-Truth on a high kick. Off the rope. Springboard. Cross body. Sends R-Truth back down to the mat. Joe Gacy tries to get hold. But R-Truth scissors free. Hard hook. Hook up from behind. Grabs him by the hair. And a spike down onto the chest. Leg drop. DDD, DDT, sorry, I 
for some reason I said DDD. I don't know why. That, that's a giant fat penguin bird. Just moving on. Our truth on the road. And he gets clotheslined over the ropes by uh, Joe Gacy. Our truth counters though. And a spinning heel kick sends Joe Gacy straight back down. Our truth now. Is he going to get a candle stick to use this time? Or is he bringing out a table? No, he's bringing out another table. Drops it the moment Joe Gacy gets his uh, hands on him. Though, and our truth shot straight into the ring. Joe Gacy recovering the table, sending that in. Our truth misses the baseball slide though. Joe Casey come back in, stunning our truth for a moment, but our truth gets him with an Irish whip, sends him straight back out, uh, out to the outside, out to the outside. We well, can't go out to the inside, can you? Moving on, our truth picking up the table, and he might, yeah, he's setting up near one of the uh, turnbuckles. Goes over and misses a crossbody, and Joe Casey just going up to the top turnbuckle nonchalantly. Pointing at a fan there, he's probably lost his eyesight of our truth but no, he's found him again. Double axe handle from the top turnbuckle, from the top straight to the outside. Joe Gacy just throws our truth down like a bit of trash from the shoulders. Sliding into the ring, he knocks over the table that uh, was earlier set up though. Joe Gacy recovering it, might use it as a weapon, no, he's setting it up. R-Truth misses it, but Joe Gacy hits a beautiful springboard crossbody, sending R-Truth down after he missed the uh, high kick to uh, Gacy. Gacy sending R-Truth through the table, and this could be it. R-Truth counters out, though, with a back elbow to the head. R-Truth sending Gacy into the ropes. Ooh, a little short of the table. Flapjack face buster there by R-Truth, sending Joe Gacy down to the uh, middle of the canvas. And R Truth working on the uh, left foot there and a couple of stamps to the head as well. Right knee to the uh, face of Joe Gacy. He recovers the candle stick he didn't get to use earlier. And he's caught with it. Gacy defends, picks R Truth up, might just try and slam him onto the table. And he does, that's it! The winner in Puerto Rico, Joe Gacy, and new North American champion as quick as that. R-Truth made a mistake going for that kendo stick he got from under the ring earlier. And it cost him his championship. Joe Gacy here at Puerto Rico WWE NXT Payback is the new North American champion. His song says love is blind, but in that competition he certainly wasn't. Never know the light gets 7 XP, that's good. So now our mid-main event for the Women's Tag Team Championships. The Birds and the Bees going up against Raquel Rodriguez and Dakota Kai. Introducing first, multiple-time Women's Champion, multiple-time Women's Tag Champion. The Amazon Feline Fatale, Gaya Longtail. Standing seven feet tall, well over 400 pounds, but she's not a giant. Oh no, she's a specialist. She knows what she's doing. She's gone through two or three partners across the uh, across the uh, Sunday Night War seasons. Now she's teaming with excellent talker and speaker for the Hive, Quinn B. And you would think. This new tag team of the Birds and the Bees. Well, it's working out so far for them. They are the tag team champions. Uh, 
There's truly no one in NXT who looks quite like Kaya. The light show, the entrance. Nothing comes close. Such abuse from our, uh, from our uh, American uh, commentating team, but of course remember, we we have to take pity for them because uh, American commentary team they do not speak in traditional English, they speak in simplified English, so we just have to pity them and let them get on with it. And of course, Raquel Rodriguez, quite the hit lately, since she uh, started coming for the uh, Tag Team Championships. But this is, I believe this is a hometown, uh, home country, home state, Puerto Rico. Is it a state? Is it a country? I'm never quite sure. Either way. Crowd of cheering her, despite her being a bit of a heel, but the only part of her character is that she smiles and she has a strong back. That is literally her character in NXT. What can we do about that? She is a blank slate with no personality, a smile and a big back. That's basically it. However, her tag team partner, slightly more when it comes to uh, personality, Dakota Kai of course. Bell rings and this NXT Women's Tag Team Championship match is underway. Already some of NXT's top names have held this title. Some interesting tandems. We might see another duo add their name to the history books tonight. Jeez. Indeed! Oh, jaw shattering. Uh -oh. Well-timed counter on Rodriguez. Thunderous power slam. She just turned it around. Comes back into the ring. Oh, what a close line. With no count outs, there's nothing keeping her inside the ring. Uh oh. They're in the table. Yeah, I gotta take it to the next level. What is this superstar thinking? They're thinking about the end. Finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Uh-oh. Oh, power bomb. That was one of those power bombs that would 
shorten someone's career. Getting carried around. Bad spot to be in. Up and down. What a slam. Look at this. Just stop after stop after stop. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Shaped up the top rope and just driving the knees into the kidney. Over and over again. She's got her eyes on the proverbial prize now. Hey, when you have the opening, why not go for it? Just a long fall awaiting them. A show of disrespect from B. Oh, my God. And what need is there to go looking under the apron like this? Oh, weakening the leg here. And that was a precisely measured attack. And back into the ring she goes. She's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. Big splash in the corner. Bang, a tiger fake kick. Big time spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Big kick. And now she places it in the corner. Kick. Boom. Across the top rope. To the floor. Solely focused on. Ooh. Oh, a combination! Enziguri! Beautiful teamwork. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Back into the ring. Dakota Kai. Crucifix chokehold. Wow. Oh, got attack. And for some reason, she lets go of the hold. Could have just been a tease of the potential agony that's yet to come. And that was a successful bit of offense with that maneuver. She heads out of the ring. An interesting strategy. Champ looking out of sorts. Nothing but respect for hanging tough this long, but this might be where the match finally slips out of hand. Oh. Oh. Loving blow. She's getting that ladder position perfectly. Well, uh, setting it up is one thing, climbing it is entirely different. Suplex. Oh, man, right to the arm. This could be big. Down with a power bomb. That's it. No getting up from that. They don't look now that that ladder is lined up perfectly. Showtime. Oh, no. Holy smokes. Carini right from the ladder and right on target. Set up nicely. Right in the center of the ring, Michael. Dakota Kai, kick to the ribs. And she just carved a path for herself. Laying out the competition before attempting the ascent. Look at this. That ladder is positioned perfectly. For the victory. Got a hold of it. Yeah, let's see how long that lasts. Going for all the glory here, guys. Raquel looking to establish her dominance. And that's a hot bomb. We can have a new... And we have new tag team champions. What a moment. Here are your winners. The team of Raquel Rodriguez and Dakota Kai. Making their case for one of the best teams around with that win. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. Amazing match there.
Four and a half star classic. Self Prime for Agent Buck. I'm going to simulate this Iron Man match because literally I cannot be asked to commentate a 15 minute match uh, Iron Man between Piper Niven and Josie J. And that's just me being completely honest. Piper Niven does get the victory though. Three star match. Doesn't start a rivalry. Annoying. Okay, Gunther and uh, Escobar goes to a level four rivalry, which we'll be able to finish off at the start of next week, I guess. And now, the main event of the evening, an Extreme Rules Tag Team Championship match. Cody Rhodes and Triton going up against uh, Wolfgang and Adrian Buck. And speaking of wrestling having more than one royal family, Cody Rhodes is teaming with King Triton. Adrenaline in their souls, something something, Cody Rhodes. The crowd is here, they're about to blow, and they're waiting for him to start the show. Get your ass down the aisle, put the lights go up, and get on. Whoa. And his partner. I think that's more than 330 pounds there, Lillian. to admit um, the entrance leaves a lot to be desired and I think the commentary from uh, the American commentators of course he is coming from Avalon Japan he is uh, what they call a gaijin sumo wrestler of course Sadly, uh, I don't have much to say about Gallus. Wolfgang, he did demand a no holes barred match last week, mind you, and he lost, causing the general manager to have to use some expensive uh, injury rehab on Wolfgang to get him ready for this pay-per-view. 
and his tag team partner. He just told you, Cole. Such abuse for our WWE payback, the NXT Tag Team Championships. Such abuse. See, that's what we are doing in NXT. We put a pro with a with a with a rookie, and we train them up. It's tag. It, that's how tag teams should work in a developmental thing. A veteran and a newbie. Put them together. Although I think the first thing that Cody probably should said to his royal partner is, um, "For fuck's sake, don't wear your crown to the ring." Never mind. Joel, we are double leg drop on the chest of Cody Rhodes and a kick to his face as well. Joel Wheeler showing his athleticism, jumping over the top rope and guessing at Kando Singh. Of course, this is an extreme rules match. King Triton picks him up and a reverse back slam there. Just puts him down and the crowd are chanting, we want tables. Wolfgang doesn't give a fuck. He's brought in a trash can. And a beautiful bulldog there or inverted bulldog I would say by King Triton moving quite athletically considering his unique uh, bodily structure Joel Wheeler working on King Triton a very powerful uh, back suplex there Of course, uh, Cody Rhodes working on the what single member of Gallus there. Orkan being pulled up though, and then he's just getting punches to the face. One of the oldest, one of the oldest moves you can't defend against it. It's just punch to the face. Cody Rhodes setting him up for a figure four. It looks like now, going for a submission. King Triton could have stopped that, but Joel Wheeler did get over the. Oh, and he's just powerbombed for his trouble. Joel Wheeler powerbombed onto the edge of the trash can by King Triton. King Triton being sent into the ropes, caught by Wolfgang and dropped. And I swear to God, I thought he was going to go through that ca ring canvas there. Cody Rhodes breaking up the pin, though. Cody picking up uh, Wolfgang gets countered, though. Wolfgang's got Cody Rhodes by the uh, neck and shoulder. Triton just... Throwing Joel Wheeler around like a rag doll, to be honest. And Cody Rhodes, I think he's been training King Triton. He, he was right. There is more than one wrestling royal family. The problem is, it's not his. Triton, of course, from Avalon, Japan. Joel Wheeler, double drop kick, uh, double leg drop kick on uh, Triton. Some huge left kicks there. Cody Rhodes on the outside gets splashed with a flying somersault sent on. Joel Wheeler now hooking up and a pickup neck breaker. And Cody no sells it to Joel Wheeler. Russian leg sweep as well onto the outside. Wolfgang chasing after Cody Rhodes. Goes over the stairs. Triton has the uh, kendo stick once again. And he's dropped it. He has dropped that stick, and it does look like Wolfgang has blooded King Triton. Oh, that's going to be an international incident. Alabama slam on Wolfgang by Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes going around the opposite side of the ring. 
He's uh, slides in, as does Wolfgang. Wolfgang hooks up with Cody. Test of strength. Wolfgang gets it. Cody counters. No, he doesn't. Sends over with an arm drag slam. And King Triton is not a happy king. I'd say maybe he lost his last meal, but look at the size of him. He is definitely a Burger King. This video is not sponsored by Burger King and never will be. Cody Rhodes breaking at the pin of Joel Wheeler on King Triton. Cody Rhodes snaps him down into almost a Phoenix Splash almost. King Triton though fighting Joel Wheeler but Joel Wheeler did that amazing manoeuvre on the uh, back end of the table. Did take uh, Cody Rhodes a while to get up. There's a sledgehammer in the ring. A ladder. And a sledgehammer to the plums. We could call those the Pharaohs. Because references. Cody Rhodes with a DDT on Joel Wheeler. Sends him down. Joel Wheeler pulling himself back up though. As King Triton puts Wolfgang into the corner. Twisting up left arm around the top ring rope. Trying to increase the torque that Wolfgang is getting. And Cody Rhodes has the sledgehammer. We've seen what he can do one of them before. No throwing is safe. Wolfgang sent into the uh, turnbuckle and a thick right hand into uh, Wolfgang and a springboard drop kick sends, sends and stuns Wolfgang. Joel Wheeler makes the save, and that could have been it. Joel Wheeler tries to go for a springboard, does so beautifully reversed into a sit-down bulldog. And now Joel Wheeler going for the pin on Cody Rhodes, of all people. Try him back in the ring, though, and he gets speared by Wolfgang. I would say that King Try nearly got folded up, but I think that is literally physically impossible, judged by the amount of fat on that man. King Tron making a save though. Joel Wheeler is still stunned. Half on the table, half not. King Tron sets him up with a double underhook onto the shoulder into a full power slam. Joel Wheeler stamping away though. Breaks the pin and Triton sends Joel Wheeler out. Joel Wheeler is out of the ring. King Triton has the sledgehammer. Wolfgang is down. Cody's pumping up. Joel Wheeler is back into the ring. King Triton comes out of it. As does Cody. What are they setting up for? Well, by some miracle, Triton did get the pin, getting the championships or retaining the championships, and Wolfgang is going to be pissed. But 
He should have got the victory. I gave him what he wants. I can't give him what he wants every time. NXT 2.0 leaving three promo slots empty. They have four championships. Is that Rick Rude going with Dominic Mysterio? Bloody hell. It's Battle of the Mustaches over there. Five normal matches though on payback. So we had two four stars, two four and a halfs, and a three. Poor opening, but we'll deal with it. So Triton and Cody Rhodes are the tag team champions. So SmackDown gains ninety five hundred dollars and one hundred twenty one thousand fans. Raw gains one hundred fifteen thousand and three hundred twenty nine thousand dollars. NXT gains one hundred forty thousand and three hundred forty two thousand dollars respectively. NXT gains one hundred seven thousand and one hundred twenty thousand fans. So we are currently 500 and yeah we're about 481,000 fans ahead of the highest number of fans which is Raw but uh, they are in last because they have the least amount of Hall of Fame trophies. So, Wolfgang is a complete loser. So, let's see if we can get something for him. Wolfgang's worth 130 grand. Let's see what we can get for him. Rick Rude's there. Um, Ooh, he's rip. Heyman's angered Otis. Probably because he's he's got so such low stamina. Phoenix, my god, he actually got Beth Phoenix for the entire season. Cool. Tell you what, just give me a hundred grand for him. Wolfgang is gone. And that way I don't have to listen to his to his email complaints about him not winning his match. So silver linings all round. Right. So I say champ is there. China's there, but uh, she does look a little worse for wear there, let's be honest. Um, and she's only there for four weeks anyway. I don't think there's anything I want. Ivar's there. Two promo. Uh, 
I don't think there's anything I want. I'm good. NXT want me to give Nova Northern life for 37 grand. Well, I only paid 30 grand for it, didn't I? Yeah, okay. Brought her on, gave her some training and sent her off to NXT 2.0. Smackdown wants me to give him Cody Rhodes, one of my tag champs, for Otis who has no stamina. High popularity though. And he's going to give me 140 in grand. He's a tag champion. I can't break up Rhodes and Triton. Can I? Not for Otis. Not for Otis. You're welcome, Cody. Well, that's going to be next episode. Town Scouts cost 50% less cash. Class change premise costs 75% less. Match types that cost more than 40k grant 20% more ring XP. That's barely anything. I'm not going to do anything with these, am I? Let's do that. Because I might look for some more legendary people. But that has been this episode. Thank you everybody for watching and we'll see you next time.